Mm-hmm. I was actually watching Full House with my son earlier. I have a five-year-old, <laughs> and um, cut it, cut it out. Sorry, is one of the most like famous TV catchphrases ever. Uh, it gets said in my house all the time. He runs around saying it. <laughs> How do you feel about it taking on a new life in this campaign? Well, it's seamless. You know, um, General Mills asked me to be a part of this campaign, their Box Tops for Education program. And, you know, when we started bantering around, cut it out, it just made total sense because, you know, that's what you do. You, you get a box top and you, you cut it out. So uh, it was, it's been a lot of fun. And when you realize the impact of this program, it's been 20 years uh, that the box, top, box Tops for Education program has been here. In those 20 years, they've uh, given back over $800 million dollars to classrooms, uh, grades K through eight. That's pretty substantial. It's, it's really a phenomenal thing. And, you know, when they asked me to be a part of this, I said, sure, where do I sign up? Yeah, uh, my, like I said, my son's five and he's gonna be starting school. And I've done a couple of these interviews now for um, the Box Tops program. And I had no idea how much they actually did, how much cutting out a Box Top really could help a school. It's pretty phenomenal, and you know, and the and the money goes directly to you know uh, technology or books or classroom supplies, and you hear those stories you know, about teachers having to use their own money to you know get supplies for class, and at that point you realize something's broken down in our system, and so this box tops for education program really kind of rectifies uh, what's happening and and chips in where you know students need it most. Absolutely. And then I watched your videos already, but for people who haven't, uh, the campaign illustrates the impact of box tops by taking away things that, you know, teachers use in the classroom or in different settings. What happened when you went back to school as a substitute teacher? Oh, we had a lot of fun with the kids. I posed as a substitute teacher and went to a school and we wanted to demonstrate what the world might be like if they didn't have things like books in the library or musical instruments to learn and play music. The kids in these sketches, they didn't know they were going to be on camera. When they walk into the library and they see not one book in the library that they come into every single day at school, it was it was jaw droppingly funny. And they were they you know they didn't know they were they were going to be uh, filmed at all. And the the looks on their faces was it was just priceless. But it did you know hit home the point of. This is what it would be like if, if box tops for education wasn't chipping in. Right. Yeah, the looks on some of their faces were hilarious when they were trying <laughs> to play the instruments and stuff. I was cracking up. Yeah, and you can see all um, of those that are on our website, which is box tops, uh, the number four, box tops for education.com. Perfect. And then what was the most challenging part of trying to teach those kids without those supplies? Well, I was trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I just sat there and had to bite my lip because they were asking and, and, you know, asking questions and the looks on their faces and their jaws dropping. It was, you know, I had to, uh, I had to be an actor that day. Right. And then, so I know your whole thing is the cut it out, but they have the digital box tops tool. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah. Well, not only do you, you know, you can cut it out. You know, the old-fashioned way, there it is right there where, you you know, you get your scissors out and cut it out. But if you go to our website, boxtops4education.com, you can download an app. And it's as simple as going to the grocery store. You just um, you scan your receipt, and what you've purchased pops right up on the app. It's so streamlined and so simple. That's awesome. And then speaking of like everything that's going on, you're also working, um, you're on the Cheerios boxes for an all new sweepstakes. So can you tell us more about that and how we can get entered? Yeah, um, the sweepstakes, um, we're giving away $1 million worth of box tops for schools. And when you buy your cereal inside, there will be a code and you just take that code and you enter it on our website and you can find out instantly if you win or not. So this is so simple to do. It benefits so many kids in so many classrooms. And, um, you know, we've made it really simple so that, you know, it just takes a couple of seconds to do this and, um, you know, you're off to the races. In fact, if you're a teacher and you're starting this program in your class and you haven't done it before, there's even some hints online as how to do it. That's awesome. And then what, touching on the school thing one more time. So when you were in school, what is one... Um, elective that you don't think you could have made it through school without having? Uh, writing. 
I loved writing. And uh, writing for me when I was a kid was, was not only creative, but it was also kind of an emotional catharsis where I could write about things that you wouldn't normally say to somebody, but you could write about them. And so um, writing is something that I've always cherished and, and reading was always uh, something that I, I truly still to this day, I just devour books. Yeah. And then what other exciting things are you involved with these days other than helping out with Box Tops for Education? Well, uh, Fuller House, you know, season three, we're doing 18 yeah. episodes. And uh, directing is something that I've become very passionate about. I, uh, like I said, I directed the uh, Christmas episode in season two. So I'm going to be directing more episodes in season three and hopefully move on to some other uh, sitcoms on some other networks. So it's, um, you know, it's something that I've really kind of discovered within myself that I, I feel as though I can contribute a lot. And so um, it's going to be an exciting year. That's awesome. We're looking forward to it. And then Thanks. where can we go again? I know you've said it a couple of times, but to get right. more information about everything Box Tops for Education. Everything we've talked about and everything you can learn about this amazing program is at boxtopsforeducation.com. All right. Thanks so much for talking to us today, Dave. Thanks, Ashley. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good one. You too.